What's going on everyone, it's Kochi here, and we have the information on the new bin month for August. Uh, they're featuring the units Lisa, Hiori, as well as Hachigen in the Visored, uh, I guess this is like an Italian word, Capriccio Summons, I don't know if I even said that right, but anyway, as usual, let's uh, go over their stats and skills and everything, and then I'll give you my opinions on them. So, these new versions of Visored characters are coming soon, available on the 16th uh, at Raid Reset. The new summons will feature the following three characters, uh, Lisa, um, gracefully wielding Haguro Tonbo, Hachigen, Master Barriers and Kido, and Hiyori, a short-tempered young woman who hates Soul Reapers. Start saving your spirit orbs now. So we'll start with uh, Lisa, just zoom this in a bit, and also uh, shout out to Soldex as usual because um, I, found his, uh, I found all this information from his Reddit post, uh, all the data mine stuff. So, Shoutouts to him. So starting off with Lisa, she is a tech attribute character, Soul Reaper Hollow affiliation with Hollow Killer. Her trait is strong attack recharge 12%. Her stats are 1082 stamina, uh, 638 attack, 356 defense, 357 focus, and 774 SP. Her skills are Sprinter plus 1, Bruiser 20%, Frenzy, Devastation 40, Weakened Defense, Debilitator plus 2 seconds, and Freeze Duration minus 100. So Tech Hollow Killer, Recharge Soul Traits um, with Frenzy. And we have more information on her attack data here. This might be a bit too zoomed in actually. So I'll just have to alternate between zooming in and zooming out, which is fine. So uh, just going over her attack data from uh, what we can kind of understand. Uh, I don't know if I said anything from here. No, I didn't. Okay, so she is a, a melee character. Uh, regular melee attack string and all that. She has last rate on everything. Uh, her strong attack 1 is a lunge type strong attack, 475 radius. Her strong attack 2 is a shockwave type, uh, 160 magnification. Um, so uh, some, think of like um, Lost Agent Jushiro, the mind of Jushiro. And then uh, as you can see here, it's also a range collision. Uh, just like Jushiro's. And then Strong Tech 3 is a thousand um, radius 120 mag standard full screen strong attack. So um, overall, other than the Strong Tech 2, it's like eh. But uh, other than that, the other two seem fine. Uh, nothing really too, you know, uh, out of the ordinary or anything for Lisa though. So the next character we have Hachigen. So Hachigen is a speed attribute. Character again, Sorry for Hollow affiliation with Hollow Killer, and his straight is strong attack recharge 12%. Uh, his stats are 1092 stamina, 630 attack, 358 defense, 349 focus, and 778 SP. Um, he has Sprinter, Bruiser 20%, Frenzy, Devastation 40, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, and Weakened Duration minus 100%. So, uh, Speed Hollow Killer coming out. Uh, we just got Thousand Blood War Yama, so. It doesn't really feel as, you know, anything new, I guess. Um, we can get into his attack data here. Again, I'll zoom out. So his strong attack one, he's a ranged character. Uh, he has a three hit uh, Naz string and he has paralysis on, well, he doesn't have it on his SA2, but I think, I uh, believe everything else. So his strong attack one is a uh, beam type strong attack. 725 radius, so think of something like uh, Power Aizen, Believe Toshiro, all those kind of units that fall into that category with, you know, long uh, linear beam type attacks. That's his SA1. His SA2 is his, um, his like support skill, um, which is a barrier uh, for 20 seconds. And then his SA3 is a full screen strong attack. So kind of standard stuff here. Uh, I do like this beam strong attack. I, I really like this type of strong attack, so if, if they're a ranged character, at least if they get this, it's like, I'm fine with that, you know? At least they don't get some something wacky, so other than, um, for a ranged character, he doesn't, doesn't have any, like, weird, really strong attacks, um, so it's not, it's not, like, terrible. And then lastly, we have, uh, Hiyori. So Hiyori is a... Tech attribute character, Soul Reaper Hollow affiliation again with Hollow Killer, and normal tech damage 20% trait. Her stats are 1100 stamina, 763 attack, 367 defense, 362 focus, and 614 SP. Her skills are Sprinter plus one, Flurry, Berserker 30%, Devastation 20, Weakened Defense, Poison Duration minus 100%, and Poise. 
and uh, yeah, flurry poise units with a PVE killer. Um, seems like that's going to be kind of the thing now. They'll be a bit more generous with giving out flurry and poise and more PVE killers instead of PVP. I remember way back, um, we would get more frenzy units and like banners sometimes it'd be like one frenzy unit, one nad based unit, and then one kind of hybrid like super shaft unit um, that you would just feel bad if you pulled. And then we started to get a lot more frenzy units. And then now um, we start to get more flurry units. And even then, like when they would release flurry units, it'd be specifically for PvP. They'd give them a PvP killer. They wouldn't be as useful in PvE. Um, but clearly, they're trying to take it in that direction for making them more useful in PvE content and not just limiting it for PvP, which is good. I like that. Um, Soyphone and Yami are both hard attributes, right? Yami is hard. Yeah, yeah, he is. So they have Hollow and Aronkar covered for that. And now we have our tech, uh, Flurry Poise, uh, Hollow Killer. I think at some point we'll eventually get a Flurry Poise unit for every attribute with every PVE killer, which will be, a, I think, in a long ways. But you know, I think that's the way they're kind of going with it. And uh, we'll get into her attack data. So her strong attack one is a 475 radius, uh, 120 mag. It's just a lunge. And then uh, strong tech 2 is a uh, 25 hit vortex, uh, attract vortex, so it's I think uh, it's a, like a planted vortex, the one you put on the ground, it's not around her I believe, because the ones around you uh, aren't called attract vortex. The self vortexes, I don't think they're called attract vortex because they don't actually attract anything, they just hold enemies in place, they don't pull them towards you. So I think that's the distinction. And then her strong tech 3 is a 975 uh, radius. Um, SA3. So slightly under full screen, um, when I looked it up, I saw that the old, um, the DR Mind Jushiro had the same radius SA3. So, you know, better than a 900 AoE, but uh, very, very slightly under full screen. So I think it's okay. I mean, it's a NAD character, you're going to use her for autoing and stuff. But uh, anyway, that's Hiyori. And those are the three banner units. Overall, nothing too, you know, out of the ordinary or um, really too, too new or exciting, you know, as per usual for mid months. Uh, but they do have, you know, um, like these dual affiliations, Sorry per Hollow, Sorry per Hollow, and Sorry per Hollow. So uh, definitely could see them used in like Senkai Mon stuff. Uh, they'll probably, they'll definitely be useful as like more options because they cover two affiliations and Senkamon typically has affiliation restrictive um, floors. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the banner. Uh, nothing too much else to say, but uh, yeah, those are those units. And then we also have one more unit to go over, and this is the new Senkamon uh, unit that will come out with the Warrior's Path Tower for this month. And it is Zangetsu, so he is a Soriper affiliation with Soriper Killer. His trait is normal attack damage plus 25% and damage taken minus 16%. And his stats are 1081 stamina, 746 attack, 361 defense, 358 focus, and 622 SP. His skills are Sprinter plus 1, Bruiser 60%, Berserker 40, Devastation 30, and Weaken Defense. So, the NAD DR trait combination. Uh, this is, this is going to be really nice for autoing, uh, really nice for PvP. I don't know about using all three, like three of these links for PvP. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't checked any math on this. Um, but I don't I don't know if it's worth it losing your other link slots investment, especially if they're like 20 DR links and you're dropping down to 16 DR and you're losing the 20% stats. I know the normal attack damage stuff is really nice, but I feel like you might be too weak. You might just, you just you'll just die really quickly, so. I'm not sure on that, but uh, yeah, really nice link, uh, going to be uh, nice to have him for autoing and for PvP for at least matching link slots at the very least. Um, but we have his attack information as well. So his normal attacks, oh, only one thing I just wanted to point out here was that his uh, last normal attack hit is a shotgun. It's three projectiles, uh, all at 
uh, 120% magnification, so giving you a 360 mag uh, final hit. So think like Uryu and uh, Ryukens, their last hit. And he's a ranged character. So his kits, furthermore here, I noticed that it's actually pretty much the same as uh, Technique uh, Ginjo or Tech Kugo or whatever, Bond Kugo, however you want to call him. Um, his strong attack one is arranged uh, collision projectile, 60% mag, same AOE, 1000. His strong attack two is a 525 melee collision range project, or not projectile, but ranged attack, same as uh, Kugo again, but his SA3 is full screen. That was the only difference really, and you know, I guess his NAT is different, but the first two strong attacks in his kit uh, are just like mirror of each other. But uh, yeah, he is a NAD character, so you know, it's a, it's a bit different. You'll be using those to guard break, not you know, really kill stuff. But uh, if you do play with them. But anyway, that's all the units that I had to really talk about. So we have the three mid month units, and then we have the new Senkamon unit here. So that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think about, uh, about these units if you're going to summon. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later.